I don't get this. What do words like expecto patronum mean? Expecto means expect or I wait. Patronum means guardian, so I await a guardian. It's Latin. Latin's everywhere, even in Harry Potter. I got the opportunity to do it for GCSE and just completely fell in love with it. We got to do history as well as stories and as well as literature. We got to look at cultures and specifically, you know, art. We got to look at buildings and architecture. It was it was just a brilliant uh, sort of experience at GCSE. And as soon as I found out I could do it for A level, that was just that was fantastic. <laughs> no brainer. It would be tragic for us if Latin disappeared from high stores. It's something that we're very proud of offering. We're the only state school in the city still having to have it on our curriculum. Um, you know, and we've kept it going in the face of lots of obstacles over the years, particularly those that come from government deciding what is and what isn't useful for students to learn. Well, which team do you support? Wednesday, of course. <laughs> United's my team. Well, I support Wednesday because they've got a Latin motto, Concilio et Animis. It's Latin. It means by wisdom and courage. That's how we win. Well, we win by scoring goals. So I'm doing classics in Europe at the moment because we're, um, High Store School is the only school in Sheffield that offers it and I'm really interested in it and I do extracurricular Latin because I believe that it really helps me with my other languages. Uh, I'm actually starting Spanish in Year 9 so it's going to really help me with pronunciation and vocabulary in those and it also helps me with my vocabulary in English as well. Those who are interested in words and who like looking at the sources of words, I think they find it fascinating. Uh, you quite often get one of those little light bulb moments where you point out what words we get in English and they go, oh, that's the best bit. What's this called? It's a leg. Isn't that obvious? No, to a doctor it's a tibia. It's a Latin word. Try this. It's an arm. No, a humorous. Latin word. Humorous? That's not very funny. Um, I was very disappointed that I couldn't do Latin because um, me and Lawrence some others wanted to do Latin as a GCSE but we couldn't do the course because there wasn't enough funding to run it for 16 of us. I, I distinctly remember when we were first told that we weren't able to do it, me and Sylv and a few others of us just sort of thought of every idea we could. We so wanted to do Latin that any idea that we could put forth, we did put forth. So I remember thinking about funding it ourselves, about uh, fundraising came up, if we could do the class and we'd try and make up for it some other way. I just remember every single thing we could try and way to get Latin, we tried it. One of the other things that's important, of course, is that Latin makes you stand out these days. There are not that many schools that offer it and certainly not many in the state sector, so if you're producing your GCSE certificate and it says Latin on it, that is going to make you stand out and it is going to be a bit of a talking point. I've done it for years now, I did it at GCSE, so I did classics, ancient history, Latin, basically all the courses that were offered here, and I'm doing it at A-level now. I was going to do A-level Latin, but unfortunately due to like budget cuts, I couldn't do that. I'm Paul Heine and 50 years ago I did Latin at high stores and in a working life as a writer and a broadcaster I am grateful for the day that I did it and that is why I've made this film. And now here's what you can do. Go to justgiving.com forward slash crowdfunding forward slash save hyphen classics. There's a hyphen between save and classics. 
hyphen. That's ancient Greek, if you didn't know. Not Latin. Please go make a donation. I don't know what we'll do if they stop Latin in classics. <laughs> It'll be an anus horribilis year, that's for sure. It's anus. Stop trying to be clever. It doesn't suit you. Thank you.